YouTube, what's up, man? It's another gameplay, another salary cap. It is LCQ leaderboards. That means we're playing the best of the best to try to be one of the last two people to qualify for Madden Bowl. If you want to watch these games live, the link is below, twitch.tv slash dub dot. We're going to learn a lot this game. You know, we are playing the king. If you guys pay attention to, you know, Friday Night Football, any of the MCS, you know, the king is a guy that uses Lamar Jackson. This gun heavy panther. I know you guys have come across it. In the uh, mud head to head, whatever it may be, just this fast break ability with Lamar Jackson, just full steam ahead, just trying to run, get into the open field. And I'm just going to run my main run defense against it. Any offense, defense, special teams you guys see here, MaddenTurf.com. That link is below. Uh, I said King is one of the best people in the open field with Lamar Jackson. As long as we don't let him get in the open field, we'll be good. We get him to an early fourth down. Now, I play a lot of gun heavy pan Panther, and everybody's a little bit different. First passing play of the game, I'm going to put these vert hooks out here at my outside linebackers. What the vert hooks are going to do, they're going to stop the quick corner route. Now, most people run quick corner routes out of jumbo, out of anything. Uh, King isn't really going to do that, but uh, you got to prepare for what you know. First play of the game. Uh, this video is going to be a lot about learning your opponent because this is not a pretty game. This is a dog fight, and uh, the first play of the game doesn't have any corner routes on the field. Definitely has his wheel route over here. Bang! Missed the hit stick on Moster, and he takes it. Probably what's that looking like? About, you know, 40 yards on that play right there. The running back wheel is tough because on my run defense that I run, the running back wheel pretty much is never covered. There's never somebody manned up on a running back. So the rest of the game, I pretty much have to use her that while I'm in my run defense because as you see here, my run defense has been really good. I mean, the one thing about this type of players, you see the running backs open again, but the tight end on the left's open, so I have to pick which one I'm going to choose, and I chose right right there. He didn't make the read, has to kick the field goal. The thing about these runners, man, as we talk, the runners, the runners, runners, they're not that good when it's time to pass the ball, man, and we're learning that easily. We're learning that quickly, and um, this is my first drive on offense, and right there, the running back doesn't want to block Lawrence Taylor. Lawrence Taylor kind of caused so much havoc for me throughout this game but he has a little power specialist once again cannot block Lawrence Taylor once you get sacked twice on your first drive when you're trying to figure out his coverage man it's going to be rough right here we get to a third down and he's just going to try to rush around the edge with Ed Reed really don't have too much step up in the pocket get sacked right there this is salary cap don't have the best offensive line but uh, no one's really going to block Lawrence Taylor Von Miller uh, especially when you try to roll out on a contain get to a fourth and 36 so that's the ugly drive we didn't learn too much about that one we're going to have to try to block Lawrence Taylor a little bit better uh, just got to figure out his defense a little bit but what's going to keep me in this game is my run defense and my gun heavy panther defense we're doing a great job Lamar a little bit too fast for Anthony Barr right there as he gets out of the pocket uh, gets inside the 20 yard line and here we go again his low pass play Got everything covered for the most part. Nowhere to go. We'll send a spy on Lamar Jackson. Try to click on low hit stick, but Lamar's is just 99 speed compared to my front seven. That's probably around 90 speed. Uh, once again, we're bottling up this run. I feel really good about my run defense right now. I don't want to switch it up and give him easy plays. Even though my pass defense out of this is not the best, you got to make somebody do something they're not comfortable at, and he's not comfortable with passing. So the first thing I have to do is take away the pass. We get to a third down here. Just going to run a little cover to uh, invert almost. Guard the middle of the field. Is actually able to hit this wheel route, but we got Taylor Mays. That's one reason I like having two safeties. I don't like... Corners are much cheaper cap and cheaper cap. He should have paid more cap for a kicker because he missed that field goal. But corners are cheaper cap for sure as Calvin Johnson drops that out route. Uh, but I like having a safety because he can lay the lumber right there like Taylor Mays did on that third down. Forcing him a field goal attempt. But I'm really getting bagged by his palms, his quarters. Uh, it's really a tough defense to pass against. You have to find the right route combination to try to beat it. And right here we go for a deep post and Deion Sanders is all over it. Uh, really, really can't find the perfect route combo to try to beat this. Next play, I try to snap throw a post in here, but that cloud flat on Chris McAllister just bags it pretty good and pretty strong. Uh, I think he actually even runs a Ravens theme team, as you see Chris McAllister, Ed Reed, Deion Sanders in uh, salary cap. So that's going to give everybody a plus boost of speed. I mean, his players are going to be stupid fast. Right there, we just sack, and we feel really good. We're taking away that running back wheel. We're taking away that tight end on the left. There's really nowhere for him to throw the ball. He's not the best passer. Just stop that blast, and you'll be good. Got to figure out the right play. And right there, I see something. Went back to one of my old palms beaters when I just put the, the you know the, the slide on the streak. The safety will like take a long time to match up, and then we just go up top. 
Calvin Johnson. Once you find that route, because that's what I hate about Palms. Every time I run it, it's a one-play touchdown. When other people run it, it's just a box for me. But when you find that one route combination that really pops it, bang, you got to take advantage, and that's the one that did it there. Maybe he'll be less hesitant running that Palms coverage on me throughout the rest of this game, but we shall see. This drive, uh, he just came out in quick snap, really quick, these couple plays. Right up the middle, he finally got free a little bit with Lamar. Got to make the tackle on the open field. I feel like I do a great job of slowing him down so Lattimore can kind of catch him. Not giving up a touchdown. So that was a great job tackling by me. Right here, he just quick snaps this pass play because it's under two minutes. When you're under two minutes, it gives you a little boost at the line of screen. He bops me right there because I'm pissed. When you're pissed, you want to hit stick the hell out of him. But when you're under two minutes, they give you a quick animation of the line of scrimmage so you can snap that much faster, especially when the clock is running. Really got me with some quick snaps right there. Uh, but we got a 59 seconds left to do something with. He has no timeouts, so I feel good. He's not going to get the ball back. We're definitely going to have time 10 to 7 here. Hit a little delay route over there to Kittle. Pick up 7 yards. Use that last timeout. Once again, trying to find a big play. Nothing's really open. I'm not feeling anything. Throw the ball away here. Fourth, uh, third and six. We're just going to step up and get sacked again by Lawrence Taylor. Not really feeling feeling this coverage. Didn't want to take a risk. But right here, a lot of people, you punt. But I'll tell you guys, man, you see he has no timeouts. He can't stop the clock. I don't can't stop the clock. But you know what this means. It's fourth down, of course. But we're going to milk this all the way down. And we're going to just make this the last play of the game. I tell you guys hear me all the time. They're going to cheat somebody. You know, you have to give yourself the opportunity to be the one that gets the fluke. You know, if, if you just allow them to throw the ball up all the time and and come down with things, you got to make sure you give yourself the opportunity. So I'm going to take this all the way down to about one second and snap it. Even if I get sacked, uh, he will not have enough time left to uh, get a field goal or anything like that. We roll outside the pocket. We're just going to step, whoop, go by him with Taylor Mays, get up the field, but ooh, a shoestring tackle by Von Miller, or we could have been in business right there. Just... Give yourself a chance for fluky, man. I see so many people go to half. So many people don't give themselves that chance. But you never know. That's what I always tell them. And we're feeling good. I'm feeling like my run defense is good. Got to figure out a couple more dots for this Palms coverage, man. His Lawrence Taylor, his Fletcher Cox, all these guys are really getting after me. So got to do a better job of passing in the pocket. Recognizing when it's covered three and when it's quarters. That's what I'll try to do. Here in the second half of this game, really learning my opponent as we go to corner route right there. Boom, Calvin Johnson, 6'5", big body. Hard to get in front of him and make the play. Hit this little hitch underneath to my man Atkins. That's a 10 cap. He shouldn't even be in the game, but he is. Next play, he's going quarters right here. Try to hit a streak and a corner route, but they pass it off really well. Nowhere for me to go with the football. Throw it away. Next play, third and four. We get sacked by Lawrence Taylor again. Lawrence Taylor has four sacks. He's killing me. But when your defense is good, you got Johnny Hecker to punt. Uh, boom. Knock him right there inside the 10-yard line. And like I said, he got that one run. Other than that, we have bottled up this quarterback blast. We feel really good against Lamar. Uh, this is looking like Lamar in the playoffs. And you know Lamar in the playoffs <laughs> doesn't look that good. But third and 10, here we go. Playing a little coverage. Actually get beat on his in route. I feel like just just dog shit routes out there, but a playmaker beat me. Uh, back to the run defense. I should have brought more pressure, honestly. Back to the run defense. There's just really nowhere for him to go. Uh, I said that one run is all he got, but I'm still afraid because any run could bust it to the crib. So just got to stay in front of, stay in front of him. Can't let him get behind in the open field because it's going to be tough to tackle him. But he's just milking the clock now. He's up three points. Cannot give up a touchdown on this drive. I know that. That cannot happen, period. So we'll just <laughs> stick at it on defense. Keep holding the door. Keep fighting. Hopefully we can hit stick him, get a fumble, maybe, possibly. Third and three. Goes to, I don't know what play he just went to, but there was no one for to throw the ball to. Get to a fourth and three. Uh, so I don't got to put those vert hooks. He doesn't run that play. He's going to go with a little wheel route here to Marquise Brown. But Marquise Brown is not a good enough receiver to beat Deion Sanders deep. Swat that ball. Get it off of him. So we got to go score now. We got to get some points. First play, we're kind of bagged. And we're just going to throw the ball away with Mr. Vic. Didn't like what we see, man. I'm 4 for 11. Not a pretty game on offense. Learning what he does. Now I found a dot for this Palms. Motion out that streak. Then have the corner route. Nobody's going to cover Calvin. We're going to run a little blast of my own right there. Run a little in route here to Tyreek Hill. Boom. Going to milk some clock now. 
get it under 240 so this next play can go to the two minute warning perfect situation because now i have a second and one this is a guaranteed first down as we go to two minute warning first down now we're going to the clock. We know huddle here. I know huddle right here just to make them not even think about calling timeout. Think more about playing defense than calling timeout because I want to milk this clock. I want this clock as low as possible. I want to take all his timeouts. That way he cannot run blast 100 times. He cannot, you know, matriculate the ball down the field. He has to try to get a big play. And if you learned anything from this game film early, he cannot find a big play anywhere. So I'm going to take this all the way down to one second on the clock. I'm actually going to audible again. I went the wrong way. Went to this inside zone audible. Going to call timeout because right now in this game situation, my timeouts aren't going to matter that much. So just make sure I milk that whole 40 seconds off the clock. I'm going to go ahead and, and just try to run blast, try to get in the end zone. I do like blast running to the short side or the wide side here. Uh, but it gets bottled up. My running back kind of got in the way. Maybe I should motion him over next time I run blast. I want to go that way. I would run two more times and make him use the timeouts, but I just like the pass all, pass defense. I like what I see out of his pass defense. I think it's bad, and yes, it is. We roll out with Vic, hit Tyree Kill. That's why I like Roaming Deadeye, so he always hits those passes, man. Roaming Deadeye looks great when you're out of the pocket. Make sure you're not holding the right trigger to be sprinting, and you can go ahead and, and make those type of passes. Now, obviously, I sprinted out of the pocket, but just a split second before I wanted to throw, I let go of that right trigger just to make sure that pass was accurate with roaming dead eye. So now we just got to stop him. You know, same thing we've been doing all game. Stay in front of him. Right now, Devin Bush with the tackle there. He no huddles. Six second runoff. Same thing. Stay, stay in front of everybody. I have the running back on the wheel. We get a sack. Devin Bush gets a tackle, then a sack. He no huddles again. Third and 21. I mean, I feel like this game is in the bag, YouTube. This game is in the bag. Cover the wheel route. Where is he going to go? Over the middle. That's nothing. Has to use his timeout. 20 seconds left. Fourth and 11. He comes out and quick snaps this garbage play. Gets outside the pocket. Playmaker some, somebody up. Balls up. Lattimore knocks it away. But, of course, Devin Hester's there. And he's going to take it to the no. Taylor Mays is there. Stops him. Calls timeout. Eight seconds left. Comes out in this play. I'm feeling good about this formation. Boom. Guard the middle of the field. How is this not intentional grounding? And how is the time still on the clock? Like, just... Just just absolutely the luckiest man in the world right now. One second is left. I know he's gonna come out in this heavy Panther. He doesn't know he doesn't have any pass plays for this situation. All I gotta do is figure out what I'm gonna do against this heavy Panther, man. Am I gonna play the same run defense I've been doing all day? That looks good, but I don't want him to get anything fluky. I feel like if I play safe, I'm gonna stop him from getting to the end zone. This is one play for your life. Risk it all. I'm gonna play safe. I'm gonna kinda play pussy. One thing I tell you about, man, Madden, if you play pussy, man, it's gonna turn out bad for you. But I don't know. Let me know in the comments what defense you would have ran here. I go with the cover four. Try to play really safe. I have Maze. I have Sean Taylor. Have all those guys back there. Barring Clowney up front with Fletcher Cox. Got to make sure they just get something done right here. And, uh, we stop them right there at the three-yard line. GG's in the chat. It was a battle. Uh, first time I played them in a long time. Defense was a little little confusing. Definitely got stopped way too much. And this is the second game. We I searched right away, right after. And this was the second game that we played. And uh, I took what I what I learned from the first game, what his coverages were, what his offensive passing plays were, uh, the different things that he likes to do, his tendencies, noticing the difference between quarters and cover three at the snap of the ball, uh, noticing all the pass plays he wants to go through and how to stop them, what coverage to put out there, and really how to stop the run and bottle it up. And this is just an example of how you use use what you learned one game to take it to the next game. And you guys will shy. This game wasn't really YouTube worthy, but you'll see how this one turned out. It did not look good, as we see here in the third quarter. It's 31 nothing right now. Uh, he's got a fourth and 37. Nowhere to go. Stop him right there, and he's going to fall to the flow because he don't want no mo. Bang. And that's just an example of how I'm not the best player at the first game, but the more I play somebody, the better I get, man. And you guys, the more you learn your game from one opponent to the next, man, you can really improve your game, and I hope you guys continue to do that from watching these videos.